And now, aviation weather around Alaska. Okay, IFR for flying weather, or for flying weather tomorrow morning, IFR here along the west coast and down and across Bristol Bay, Kodiak Island, and southern Kenai Peninsula, and also western Cook Inlet to the Alaska Range. Another batch up here over the uh, Koyukuk and Upper Yukon Valley areas, otherwise VFR to the north and to the south, down across the southeast coast, some IFR for the eastern Aleutians, otherwise marginal out that way. And for the afternoon, IFR, Prince William Sound, east side of the Kenai Peninsula, and over to about uh, Cape St. Elias or so, then improving over toward Yakutat, becoming VFR. It stays VFR in the southeast coast, right on up into the Copper River Basin, central interior, north slope Arctic coast, VFR. IFR, southern slopes of the central western Brooks Range there out across the Noatak Valley in the northwest coast. And uh, more IFR now over the southern Bering Sea and most of the Aleutians into the Alaska Peninsula for Saturday morning. Quite an area IFR here on the chart now, covering a big portion of the interior and mostly along and south or east of the Alaska Range here uh, with uh, southeast wind flow producing that. And of course that uh, will bring IFR to the western Prince William Sound area, southern Kenai Peninsula, Kodiak Island, Aleutians, southern southeast Bering Sea, all IFR for the day or for the morning hours of Saturday. Staying pretty good here for the southeast coast. And that holds through the afternoon. So a VFR flying day for the Panhandle for Saturday, even up to Yakutat. And a big improvement here over the interior from, as you can see, widespread IFR to uh, increasing VFR. Lingering marginal VFR up here to the north and northeast, North Slope Arctic Coast VFR. IFR, Eastern Bering Sea, into areas of the southwest interior, Yukon Delta, and down and across Togiak Bay, northeastward there, possibly into the southern Kuskokwim Valley, southern Cook Inlet, Kodiak Island, southern Kenai Peninsula, IFR, and eastern Aleutians as well, and ADAC looking rather or in, in the IFR zone out there too, to about uh, Kiska Island. And for the passes, Anatuvik, IFR, should be a little better off to the east, so I'll go marginal for Adigan. And for Lake Clark and Merrill, IFR, both the Western Alaska Range passes there, as well as rainy IFR, especially on the eastern approaches of all three passes. Windy, marginal VFR, Isabel, VFR, Mintasta, VFR, then back to marginal for Tanita, and Portage, IFR, and back to VFR for Chilkoot and White. Freezing levels here, uh, upper level ridging, southerly flow, everything kind of shifting eastward here. So we've got four to 6,000 feet over the upper Tanah Valley area, 40 mile country with 2,000 feet north of the Arctic coast, two to 4,000 feet there for the southeast coast, and then chillier air out here to the west, but the surface freezing level still north of the Aleutians. And for icing, areas of uh, light isolated moderate rime icing here, Central interior down into northern Cook Inlet becomes a little more, becomes heavier, considerable moderate icing in the forecast for the northwest coast, possibly up to Point Lay, all the way down to Kotzebue, and maybe even in the Kobuk Valley there, a chance. And for the Aleutians here, areas of uh, considerable moderate icing as well for the eastern Aleutians, back to about Tiamchitka Island. And for the jet stream, low pressure out that way. Otherwise, we've got uh, kind of westerly flow coming through the central Bering Sea here at about 70 knots, right in across Bristol Bay, and then turns southerly, takes a turn to the northwest in the interior, picking up to 100 knots there across the central Brooks Range. Higher pressure shifting eastward now into the Yukon, down into the eastern Gulf of Alaska. So northerly flow on the east side of that ridge there, up to about 60 knots across the northern southeast coast. And then for 9,000 feet, much lighter winds at this elevation with high pressure over the Panhandle and uh, now mostly over the Yukon. And so that allowing this uh, mild southwest flow of 35 to 45 knots to come eastward here over the uh, state. And then south winds 40 to 55 knots here, staying south of the Alaska Peninsula at least through tomorrow. And then for 3,000 feet, 
Southeast winds, 45 knots, coming up to Adak and Atka over towards Shimia, and lighter for the eastern Aleutians. Pretty light and variable at 3,000 feet over the northern Bering Sea, but uh, south to southwest winds, anywhere from 35 to 40 knots over the western interior, much lighter to the east on down the southeast coast. Turbulence, smooth here for the Panhandle and the eastern interior from the north Gulf Coast to the eastern Arctic Coast. And then a uh, pretty good area of considerable moderate turbulence here for the northwest part of the state, Western Brooks Range, as well as from about Nikolski westward to Kiska Island.